Oh, my own focus. Yes, okay. Woo! This is me. Hello. Check me out. I look punk rock as fuck today. I kind of feel like Emma Blackery. I don't know. The straight, medium length hair. Do you see it? I see it. It's all good. Great, okay. I'm. This is just going to be a very quick video. I'm not going to do any editing. I'm in the middle of revising for exams. I have one exam left. So I'll be back to normal again after this week. And I know it's a Tuesday, it's late, it's not Sunday, I normally upload on Sundays. Last week I uploaded on Tuesday, was it? Or on Monday? I don't know. Um, I find it funny how I uploaded more videos, or I'm going to be uploading videos during my exams and not when I was revising, but oh well. Um, very quick video, just to be like, yo, hello, let's have a little bit of a chat about something that happened. <sighs> I am not impressed, okay? Last night... Oh, mentally scarring. Okay, so, I have got Tinder. I got it for a laugh, a joke. Ironically, in my bio, it says kind of ironic, kind of just want someone to talk to, because that's kind of true. I like having good conversations with people, you know? Um, and yeah, so most of the time I sit there just going, nope, 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 nope. And the only times I really go on it is when I'm with other people and I'm sat there and we're like, oh my God, look how cute this guy is. And we're laughing at other people, which is kind of a little bit bad, but you know. <sighs> okay. So I, yeah, going on Tinder and this guy just sends me one message. He just goes, whoa. I was like, okay. That's a bit weird. I was just like, what? And he was just like, can I have your Snapchat? I was like, oh, okay, why not? I thought he was pretty good looking. I thought maybe he talks more on Snapchat than he does on Tinder, because that's what some people say. And that's true, that's true. You know, I can barely get Tinder sometimes because it doesn't work on my Wi-Fi. Um, but yeah, and we were talking on Snapchat and it was all right, you know? He was just like, oh, yo, what's up? How you doing? Good old chatty conversation sort of stuff. And then he goes, can you cheer me up? I've had a really shit day. So I'm like, oh, okay. How do you want me to do that then? Thinking, you know, I'm kind of good at cheering people up. I think I'm okay at comforting people. It's what I like doing, you know. I was just like, does he want me to crack a joke? Does he want me to say some nice words? Does he just want to have a conversation to make him forget about things? So I say, you know, how do you want me to do that? And he was just like, can you show me your body? So I was just like, no, sorry, um, you can see my body in this beautiful Harry Potter top, but that's it, I'm afraid, no. And he was just like, oh, you know, come on, please. And I was just like, no, I'm sorry. He was like, but I'm feeling like shit. I'm like, I don't care. If you feel like shit, go eat some chocolate. You know, that releases endorphins, that makes you feel better. And then he puts, I get this weird picture and there's like these, you know, the little fed up faces, the little emoji with the eyes looking up like that and it's not looking very happy. And I'm like, okay, uh, fine, whatever. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck is that? And then I realise what the picture is of. It's a fucking dick. Oh my God, I did not want to see that. No, thank you. It was just like, what are you doing? Fuck off. I did not ask for that. I in no way did I imply that I wanted to see his dick. In no way did I imply that I was gonna send him any sort of photos like that. What? It just came out of nowhere. And I was just like, oh my god, I cannot... That is what... Oh, this is gross. And I was like, no thank you. No, 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 no. And then I get another message from him, because I didn't reply, and he goes... Do you, he, what did he say? He said, did you not enjoy that then? And I was like, um, no, there was no warning. What the fuck? And then he started messaging me going, oh, well, you've got to send me one now to make it equal. What the fuck? No, I didn't ask for it. How is that fucking fair? And I was like, no, mate, I didn't ask for that. And he was like, oh, please, just one more and I'll stop. He was like, one more, and then if you send me one to make it equal, there won't be any more. And I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? No. I was like, no, I'm sorry, this is all you're going to get to see of me, you know. Stop. 
and he was just like please I'm feeling really shit I've had a really bad day and I was like no fuck off it was like oh how much of you can I see then and I was like the most I show is my face but you're not even gonna forget to fucking see that and then I fucking blocked him and I was gross no oh oh no how is that fucking fair like as a traumatic experience enough as it was to then go and guilt trip me and try to force me into sending one when to make it equal what how does that make any sense because i didn't even ask for it i didn't even say i wanted to see it it's not like i was being all flirty or anything like that i did nothing at all to imply that i wanted it and yet i got it and then i got pressured into sending my own one <sighs> And I just couldn't believe it. And I know this probably happens all the time to people, but I've, you know, always, for most of my life, I say most of my life, that's not true. Um, for quite a good couple of years, I was in a relationship, so I never was dealing with any of this stuff because obviously I never had Tinder or never talked to other guys or anything like that. And now it's like, oh, I don't want that. No, thank you. Like, I don't mind if you're going to ask first. You know, if you ask, can I have some nudes? I'll be like, nah. And then you'll be like, oh, okay, that's cool. Fine. 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 You know, if you want to send nudes, if that's your thing, okay. You know, great. But I don't do that. Ask me first. Please have a little bit of respect. And don't try to freaking guilt trip people. No means no, for God's sake. If somebody says no, don't go try changing their mind. Don't manipulate them. Just accept it and go find someone else. God. I just, that kind of makes me feel really gross that people think they can do that. That people think that it's acceptable to just try and pressure people into it. And, oh, I'm only just 17. And sending nudes at this age counts as child pornography anyway. So... I just... it just makes me feel gross and it kind of makes me feel a bit disgusted because... to think that it's okay to pressure people into sending nudes and guilt trip them and then to think that because he's doing that to me, he's probably done it on other girls before and it's worked. Nah, mate. Nah. Fuck off. Do not want your dick. Dicks are gross. No thank you. So done with guys. And, oh. Frickin'. I can't deal with nudes and sexting. No thank you. Anyway, yeah, that's my little story slash rant over. Moral of the story, no means no. And at least to give a warning before. No, don't even give a warning. Just be like, do you want it or not? And if she says no, stop. <sighs> no means no, don't guilt trip people, okay? Got it, good. Get it, got it, good. Here we go. Right. Okay, sorry about the crappiness of this video because it's not going to be edited at all. I'm just going to upload it straight away. But you know what? Fuck it. <sighs> I will see you next week. Have a good life. Bye.